Fröhliche Weihnachten, Joyeux Noël, Buon Natale and Bellas Festas da Nadal. What a year it's been for Switzerland and the UK. Switzerland celebrated the 175th anniversary of its federal constitution and the values which have united and shaped its modern democracy. In the UK, we celebrated the coronation of King Charles III. For me, it's been an honour to take up my role as British Ambassador to Switzerland and Liechtenstein. Since my arrival in January, I've been really grateful for the warm welcome I've received from friends and partners in Switzerland and the British community. I look forward to deepening our relations still further next year. I also aim to take further steps in support of promoting UK interests in Switzerland and deepening our bilateral relations across all sectors, including through the ongoing free trade agreement negotiations. Personally, I've always found Christmas to be a very special time of year. The Gospel writer Matthew puts it like this. The people dwelling in darkness have seen a great light. And for those dwelling in the region and shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. Perhaps the reason uh, that this speaks to me is because of the theme of light in the darkness. This theme is prominent in the biblical understanding of Jesus Christ's birth and in the way we celebrate Christmas today at a dark time of year in the Northern Hemisphere. But I think it's also because the Bible talks about light dawning upon the world. This message is both realistic and hopeful. That spirit of realism and hope also characterises the spirit in which I see the UK-Switzerland relationship developing, particularly as we tackle shared challenges together. I very much look forward to celebrating my first Swiss Christmas with my family, including in the snowy Alps. I hope that you all are able to spend precious time with your loved ones, be they friends or family. Merry Christmas and very best wishes for a happy 2024.